there are several ways for satellites in orbit to modify their attitude. Due to the lack of meaningful atmosphere, they can use aerodynamic control surfaces, but they may use reaction wheels, gas thrusters, or magnetorkers, for instance. Magnetorkers use an existing magnetic field, like the Earth one, to affect their orientation with coils. When designing a CubeSat that uses them, we may need to perform tests here on Earth. Helmholtz coils allow us to do just that. Helmholtz coils are pairs of coils in this configuration. When powered with an electric current I, they generate a magnetic field that is uniform on one axis. By varying the current, we can choose the strengths of the field. If we make three orthogonal pairs of Helmholtz coils, we get a 3D field that we have full control on. For our purpose, we needed a 40 cm cube of constant field, controlled by a digital interface. We chose the following dimensions for a simulator. 80 cm square coils with 80 turns. This adds up to about 256 meters of copper per coil. To wind them, the frame is made out of U-shaped aluminum profile. The outside width of the profile is 7.5 mm. The wire used for the windings is 0.5 mm diameter copper magnet wire. A jig was made to coil the wire, which still took days. The electronics box houses the circuit that controls the current that goes through the six coils, and therefore the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field. We made some custom drivers for high current and voltage, but standard H-bridges might do fine here. The boards were created in KiCad, and the whole circuit is designed to be serviceable. Our system was designed to be assembled and disassembled in 5 minutes with 3D printed clips to avoid taking 1 cubic meters of space when not in use. Lab power supplies are used to power it. Simple serial instructions from a computer tells the interface box what to do. In this first clip, a magnet on water is used to show a constant field while the Earth one is cancelled. Of course, we can do much more with the digital control. A triangle shaped field on one axis in this case. A mock-up of a CubeSat is used in the center to measure the field. This capability may, for instance, simulate tumbling. Now, this is an actual test of a model magnet worker with this simulator. There is a lot of tests we can do with this. Sensors, magnet workers, control algorithms, etc. Overall, it is a nice addition to the software simulators. A write-up article of this video is on my website. Links are in the description. There is a lot of design details on the specifications and construction, including the design files.